What's up? Let's talk shit about sports until somebody's pissed off. You know what it is. 2016 LTS AS US IPO year end rear end awards. This next one's going out to a guy we feel always contributes solid posts. He always has great shit talk, but sometimes he gets a little bit long winded. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this award short. But uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to read one of his posts so you can see what we're talking about. On June 20th, 2016, he wrote, Okay, someone tell me if this take of mine is completely off or not, dot, dot. I've never seen or heard of any other player in any other sport having accomplished as much as LeBron already has, being so widely and consistently criticized for every single little possible flaw about them that can be found or assumed to be true as their elite accomplishments are so easily overlooked or discredited. And the only sensible reason I can think of that would explain why such a massive portion of the civilization of sports followers has such a hard time accepting him into the classification of greatness where he obviously belongs is strictly due to how his demeanor and personality is so widely perceived, IMO. I can't think of any other superstar in American sports history who's come off so negatively as him. And by negatively, I don't mean like a bad guy or bad boy in any way. By negative, I mean unattractive. Even though his play on the court is almost completely opposite in certain aspects, I feel as if he comes off as soft, whiny, bitch-made, crybaby, tattletale, cornball, or just flat-out not cool. I think every other superstar athlete this country has seen has been thought of as cool by more people than not, be it the badass demeanor, cocky demeanor, mysteriously chill demeanor, apeshit crazy demeanor, villain demeanor, or whatever. But never have we seen this offy demeanor megastar And it seems to make so many people want to dwell on every teeny tiny little aspect of his game that provides any sort of opportunity to judge negatively. Rather than praising any of the extremely elite qualities his play provides or the extremely impressive accomplishments he already has on his self. So if you're still here and wave your right to TLNDR, am I crazy or does my perception make sense? LOL. Now, if you're still here with me and you haven't gone to get a drink, fallen asleep, or killed yourself, you already know who made this post and who this award's going out to. So come on down, Matt Fazzino, and get your 2016 TLNDR award.